I hold my flower, she's guess who's back again? Me, with glasses on this time. I want to tell you, I've been on television. And oh my god, this was a really exciting experience, believe me. Together with four other people, I had the chance to talk about the furry fandom in a TV format hosted by a German comedian, I would call him, although he's not really funny. And well, I had the chance to present the furry fandom to the television audience and well, it was at 0.15 a.m., so quite at midnight, and no one was watching it, I suppose. Today I want to talk about it and tell you how it went and how I felt, and well, you can also give me your opinion at the end. The whole interview is in German, I don't know whether there were subtitles, but I tried to explain what happened and what is sad and what is important. At the beginning I was like, oh, should I really do that? I know I have some media experience, because I have three YouTube channels, I have quite some experience talking to people in front of the camera. I'm not a shy person. Okay, do I really want to get an interview by Oliver Pocher, who was kind of the comedian I don't want to talk to? And well, at first, a worker from this company or this TV show was like texting me on Facebook and email and was like, hey, do you want to participate in our show? Well, we are talking about lifestyles and what is important and what is not so important and stuff. And I was like, hey, Sure, why not? Furry is one of five topics and I was like, okay, I can represent it if you want to. As I knew, the host was a comedian and comedians make fun of things. I didn't want that they made fun of furries and stuff because furry is not a topic people should laugh about. Therefore, I asked about 30 or 40 people whether I should really do that because the other point was if I didn't do it, they would message another furry who has maybe less experience and would say something stupid about the German furry fandom and I wanted to avoid that. Well, how was the day? I arrived there, we had some snacks, we had some bread with cheese and, and some stuff and, and everything and something to drink and coke and everything. I had the chance to talk to the other people, excluding my lifestyle because we should first talk about it when we were in the show and not before. After about one and a half hours we were able to enter. We entered the really big room. There were lots of cameras and I was like, okay, looks kind of expensive. Well, because I'm also talking to a camera and I know how this feels, it looked really expensive. Like cameras for about $10,000 and oh my god. We wanted to talk to the host, but he arrived a little late, just said hi to us, had the whole interview and left again without saying much. So we didn't have the time or the possibility to talk to him besides the show. On the big round table, there was like one item for each person giving a hint regarding the lifestyle. For me, it was like a plushy wolf and the comedian or the host had to guess what my hobby is. He was able to ask every question he wanted to, but I'm not allowed to give the hint that I'm a furry. Only if he guesses it. And he didn't, but wasn't a surprise for me because it's not easy to guess just by having a plushie next to me. And then we started talking about furry. My main issue was that he was mainly asking questions about fursuiting. And what I wanted to say in this moment is that furry is much more than fursuiting. Every media, newspapers, YouTube channels, TV shows, they focus on fursuits, and I think fursuits are not the most important part in the furry fandom. It's about anthropomorphism, why people choose a fursona, what is a fursona, not just what is a fursuit and why do people wear fursuits, but more about why do people love to be a furry. Until the very end, he didn't want to understand that furry is so much more than just fursuiting. During the first break, I put on my fursuit. And that was completely planned and I was like sitting there and facing the rest of the questions the host had. And these questions were much more difficult I would say. He was mainly talking about the sexual points, whether there is a sex side of the furry fandom. And I was like, um, ah, it's hard. Because I could say the truth. The truth for me is that you can't enter the furry fandom and completely avoid sexual pictures and stuff. If you enter the furry fan and want to become a furry, you will see this kind of pictures. Whether you want to or not, it's, it doesn't matter. You will see sexual pictures one day. Second possibility is no. There is no sex at all. We don't have more sex than other people. Furry is completely not a fetish. This would be the second opportunity. The third is of course it can be a fetish for some people, but it doesn't necessarily have to be a fetish for everyone. And that's also what I said in the TV show because I think it's 
it's hard because I want to sound trustworthy. If I say, no, it's completely not a fetish, that's, that's fake news and stuff, I don't know whether he would have believed me. Because I think if I say, no, it's definitely not that, it sounds like, okay, I'm trying to hide something. Regarding the end, there was a question whether I'm single or what my girlfriend says regarding furry and fursuiting. I didn't want to hide that I'm homosexual and I also didn't want to hide that I'm single now because my boyfriend and I quit about half a year ago. He wanted to know how we got in contact with each other and I was like okay we um, found each other on Facebook and had some messages and then well we fell in love. And he was like okay so the furry fandom or furry groups on Facebook or social media are like a big place where you can find other people sharing the same sexual fetish or the same sexual interests like Ah, oh, you're the sexy wolf. And the other one, ah, oh, I'm the horny fox. This felt so wrong. I didn't want to agree to this because it's not the truth. He was like saying that and in this moment, I didn't know what to respond. And what he did afterwards was, oh my God, I didn't want this to happen, but I wasn't able to say something against it. There was like an email spam at dinnerparty.de or whatever where people were able to message me uh, they weren't but they said that if they had interest in me and want to get to know me and I was like hey I'm single I'm happy with it I didn't want to get to know a stranger who just found me with this video and thought hey he's sexually attractive to me whoa that's cringe next level for me and that was the interview with Oliver Pocher the comedian Al the host and at the end I had a single interview not with him but with another people who work for this company and answered some questions regarding the furry fandom like how was it and how did I enter the furry fandom how much is a fursuit everything I wanted to answer but didn't have the chance during the interview with the host and I also complained about the fact that furry was reduced to fursuits. Furry is much more than just fursuits. So like this was the end, this was the end of my media presence on television, German television. I want to ask you, what do you think? Maybe you understand some German and can watch the interview. It's in the video description, you can watch it whenever you want to. Uh, give me your opinion. Did I do a good job? Did I do a bad job? Your personal opinion. Do you have criticism? Do you think I shouldn't have done that? Just tell me down below in the comments. I'm looking forward to it and answer to your messages and discuss with you. On the right you can get to my two last videos. I hope you're having a nice rest of the day, week or whenever you're watching this video. Stay possum and fluffy. Bye bye.